Hey, we're taking a look at the fourth match from February 23rd, 2024 in Corican Hall, Star Navigation from Pro Wrestling Noah. This is a preview match of the upcoming tag team tournament, which starts the day after this, uh, February 24th. I will try to bring you coverage of that here as well. Um, I say try because it's Sunday afternoon. I go back to work Monday morning and I'm going to be working lots and lots of hours. So I'm going to do everything I can to cover this as well and as often as I can. But this uh, preview match means that four teams that are going to be in this tag team tournament split up, join up. It's four versus four. It's Asushi Katogi and Goji Ozaki teaming with Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf to take on Tagashi Segura, Daiki Inaba, Oka Sasaki, and Masa Kitamiya. Masa Kitamiya and Daiki Inaba are a team, and Sasaki and Segura are a team. So I know I've probably confused you by now, but this match was a, a mess anyway. And it was good. When I mean a mess, I mean... They were just breaking up pins left and right. Even members of their own team are breaking up pins of their own team. Uh, it's just crazy. These eight wanted to show the world why you need to watch this tag team tournament, and they did. I mean, they did. Kotogi's looking better than he's ever looked. I, I don't know what's gotten into him. It's not an insult. He's just looking great, and he did great here. He hit the best kill switch to end this match I have ever seen in my life on Daiki Inaba. It was... I'm not a big fan of that move because it looks kind of hokey to me, but this looked legit as hell. Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf, I'm not a Lucha fan, and I love these guys. The little bit I have watched these guys, now I saw them a little bit back when I was watching, but they have improved leaps and bounds. The way Lucha wrestlers can come to Noah and incorporate Noah's sort of King-style, Strong-style mix of wrestling in with whatever style these wrestlers already know and do is incredible, and... Alpha Wolf and Dragon Bane are great. Um, of course, Shiozaki is always the big leader of Noah. He's teaming with Katogi. And Segura, and look, this Alka Sasaki, he's from the Rise MMA promotion. If you've never seen Rise, you've got to check it out. It is a very fast-paced, mean, tough, cool, badass MMA promotion. I don't watch it much. I just don't have the time. But if I had the time, I would become a regular fan of the Rise promotion. I think I would like it better than UFC, based on what I've seen. And this Sasaki has come out of there to team with an old veteran like Segura, and I think they're going to kick ass, and they did in this match as well. Well, of course, Kitamiya is one of my all-time favorites, and no, he's not that old, but I've liked him since I started watching. And Daiki Inaba, his teaming with Kitamiya is great because neither one of them are used in the singles as well as I personally believe they should be. I haven't talked much about this match in, in specifics because it's hard to talk about, guys. It was just so chaotic. I mean, like I said, like Segura come in and break up the pin of somebody who was on his team uh, because he just didn't want him getting the pin or whatever. They wanted to soften each other up for this upcoming tournament. That was the, that is what this match was about. And even though Goji Ozaki and Atsushi Katogi won this, when Katogi hit that beautiful uh, that beautiful finisher of his, the kill switch that I normally don't like, on Daiki Inaba, it just really looked like it drove his head hard into the mat. It just really worked. Um, but it was about softening each other up for the upcoming tag team tournament and showing the crowd and those watching here at home why you should be excited for the tournament. And the match did its job. It got that over. It worked. I liked it.